Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, this is my next update. I think enough has gone on um, in the last, uh, between now and the last update that I should uh, bring you up to speed. Um, again, we're working towards a fully dressed drive. Uh, that means all the body panels on, things working the way they're supposed to. The interior doesn't have to be in, but you know all the body panels should be on, lights should be working, stuff like that. So, so that's what we're going for. Now, I did a video um, on the last update, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, some things uh, that we've done between now and then. And uh, let's get to it. So the main thing that we uh, kind of finished up was, you remember we were fixing some uh, distortions on uh, this uh, rear bumper? A little dusty, but you can see that we've been successful in doing that. Uh, don't worry about the fogging of the epoxy. That's uh, something that can happen uh, when you have lower temperatures, which we do now here in Colorado. Uh, we put some grills in uh, just to see how they'd fit. And how they look and uh, standing back I think we've got a great look uh, for the car now I keep mentioning yes we are going to eventually paint it but I want to be clear that when we do kind of our first uh, drive around we go see schools and stuff like that I want to show off the carbon fiber even if it sucks and it looks terrible um, it won't look absolutely hideous so you know, I mean, you know, little things like the fabric just kind of not being in place perfectly. I really don't give a rip, you know. I just want to make sure that we can show people how we put this together and uh, show them the carbon fiber before we actually cover it up with paint. And that's going to give us a much smoother finish. But for now, you know what? It looks pretty freaking sweet. So um, the next thing that we're working on uh, as far as covering up uh, distortions um, is the rear diffuser. Uh, we've actually put some carbon fiber over the top of that. So what we need to do is sand this back and then we need to start covering it with a couple of coats of thick epoxy. And then after that we'll uh, coat it uh, with either a UV um, epoxy so UV stable epoxy uh, to absorb all of the ultraviolet light um, or a 2k clear as I've mentioned before so I have both of those to be able to do this with so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we're going to get it ready like we did these two pieces where we flat them off and do the sanding I'm not going to show you the sanding because that's boring um, <laughs> So anyway, uh, the next thing that we've done is if we walk over here, um, I've put in a new cap for the radiators. This is actually the high point of the radiator system, so to avoid uh, trapped vapor or air, uh, what I've mainly done is put this fill thing at the highest point. That way uh, we don't get a bunch of air trapped up here and then the water doesn't flow because we have trapped air. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, seal these guys off or I may actually hook them together and they can act as their own reservoir. Um, so anyway, uh, and then we're going to put a spigot probably down in that tube uh, down in the bottom so that we can drain the system because that technically is the lowest point of the system as well. So bear that in mind when you're doing these custom uh, uh, systems. You don't want to have a situation where you're going to uh, have trapped air um, because then you're going to be really sad because you're going to have overheating and you're not going to know why. You've got plenty of fluid in, blah, blah, blah. So be aware of that. Now the next thing that we've done, which is, I think, pretty cool and something I've always wanted in one of in my manual cars is that <laughs> gated shifter. Yeah, huh? That's sexy, right? So um, I basically am just starting to mock that in. We're getting it to the right place. The shifter actually has to come up a little bit um, so that the shift lever does not bang into the edges of the gates. Um, so I'm going to be mocking that up and then welding uh, that in. 
So this is something that I'm really excited about because I love gated shifters. I've never had one. So um, we'll be finishing that up probably in the next video. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is, I keep mentioning this, I've been doing a lot of welding. Um, so basically I've gotten to the point where I've done some of my finish welding. You can see it here. You know, it's not perfect, but I'll bet you that'll hold. Um, well, I guess I'm betting my life on it, right? Um, so that is something that we're doing. We're getting all of the structural stuff. Uh, some of the other stuff I'm actually, instead of MIG welding, I'm going to TIG weld it. Um, I'm also filling any holes that I've put in the tubing that uh, uh, I've done by mocking things up. I've actually drilled holes in the tubing, but I want to fill those all up uh, and make it nice uh, so that it uh, doesn't look like a complete piece of Swiss cheese when it's done. Um, the other thing is, you've seen this before, but we've got our cross brace in here. And I'm going to be shoring that up. That's carbon fiber tubing, and it's got a stainless steel cross in it, which I still have to TIG weld up. Uh, you can also see the covers. These are the heat shield covers for the engine. Uh, those are actual Lamborghini ones. I did have to make a little bit of a concession where I had to, you know, kind of cut them and paste them together. What I will be doing is uh, actually forming them really nicely, cutting them and uh, scooching them all together, and then we're going to cover them in carbon fiber. So uh, those pieces are going to be uh, skinned or encapsulated just like we would uh, do these pieces here. So, um, so that's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, the other thing that we've done is we've got two coats of epoxy on the uh, rear driver quarter. Um, we're going to be uh, blocking that out, sanding it down, flatting it off. Um, the other thing I had to do is I've got these uh, beautiful Lamborghini marker lights. These are actually from Lamborghini and they go right here. And so I had to cut that uh, opening out for these. And then what we'll do is we'll build a bracket uh, that will hold them and we'll uh, panel adhesive that to the back of the um, of the quarter panel and then we're going to do the same up front so we got to put some of these uh, up front on the bumper um, I got the white ones that have the appropriate color LEDs so these have red LEDs the ones up front will have orange LEDs so so thanks again for watching guys um, I hope you're enjoying these I know that these are not uh, super uh, well edited videos and have a lot of splash and whatnot but I hope it gets down the mechanics uh, um, answer some questions for others who are looking in or maybe have started an adventure like this so you know keep the comments coming I love them you guys are great with the comments um, most of them are about you know my son running around with the <laughs> phone and making people sick but you know he's part of the process so uh, you're just going to have to suck that one up. Um, but keep them coming. Um, all of them, 99.9% .9 of them are very positive. Um, and uh, so we'll keep doing these videos to update you. I'm hoping to do this like every week. Um, so subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and again, comment. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.